doesn't know the movie classic Casablanca with its beautiful jazz tune as time goes by. Hi everyone, Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. In this jazz guitar tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you my chord melody arrangement of as time goes by. I'll show everything note for note, slow and easy. I've also made uh, tabs and backing tracks which can be downloaded from the info box, uh, also known as the description box, down below the video. Please hit return to merchant at the end of your PayPal payment. It's an instant download. All right, play it again, Sam. We are in the original key of D flat as sung by Sam in the movie. We have a classic jazz standard form, um, song form of AABA. Each of these are eight bars long, so we have 32 bars in total. Let's get started. All right, here are the first four bars of the tune and uh, we start in E flat minor Actually, that's the second degree of the D flat major scale. Uh, sixth fret of the B string, that's the pickup on four and. And then we go to an E flat minor seven chord. That's uh, the sixth, fourth, sixth, and seventh of the inner four strings. So, this is uh, count number one, the first bar. Then you move your pinky back in and we get a uh, E flat minor 9 chord. Then you remove your pinky and uh, put your bar, your index finger, so the 4th fret of the B string is uh, can be played, right? That's just the 4th fret of the B and then uh, the G string on the 6th fret, which is already lying here. And now we go to the 5 chord uh, of that 2-5 progression and that's an A flat and we play a, a 9 chord, which is on the 3rd fret, 3rd, 4th, 3rd and 4th fret in a 4 strings. 
Here is the virtual root because this chord has no root, so uh, here would be the A flat. It's also a C half diminished. And the funny thing is those first um, four bars consist of uh, a lot of half diminished chords or nine chords, right? Now, the pinky becomes our guiding finger or is our guiding finger now. It goes up two frets to the sixth and now we are in a 2-5 in E-flat minor and that's the F half diminished. The 2 chord of the E-flat minor is F half diminished and we have it up here, the same shape as this down here but on the 8th fret. 8-9-8-9, eight, nine, eight, nine, right? Then the pinky uh, glides down 2 frets to the 7th of the B string and now it goes down one fret and it goes to its five chord and that's a B flat seven and we play a flat nine chord and that's the same as a D diminished chord, right? So that's the five chord of that E half, uh, F half diminished. That's the fifth, sixth, fourth and the uh, sixth fret of the inner four strings, right? B flat seven flat nine or D diminished and to the fourth fret, yeah, and E half diminished. We glide up from the fourth to the seventh, and six seven six seven E half E flat. Sorry, E flat half diminished. Here's another two five one. It's all two five ones in the first four bars. E flat half diminished, and now we go to A flat uh, thirteen. That's the 4th, the 5th, 6th and 4th barred. E flat 13 this is. And this resolves to a D flat 6-9 um, chord now. So it starts in minor and goes to major actually. D flat major, here's the would be the root or actually it's down here anyway. 8-8-9-9. Eight, eight, nine, nine. Right? Actually, I would play it like this. But let's uh, revisit the first f uh, two bars. And this is the third bar. Now we're on count one. Uh, and we just play D flat major scale here. So we had this chord already, 8899. Eight, nine. Uh, lift your ring finger and the 8th fret of the E string comes out. 12th of the uh, 11th of the B string and the 9th of the B string, this one. That's just D flat 6 9 with a little bit of D flat major scale. E flat minor 7. That's a regular chord, I think you know this. Here's the E flat, bar it. Six, eight, six, seven, and six, all the way down to the E string because this is our melody note. And you let this ring. So we have one, uh, sorry, one and two and three, four. And now we have a passing chord, E diminished. Seven, eight, six, eight, in a four strings. And this one does not have a dominant function, it's just a passing chord between the E flat and the uh, next chord, the F minor 7. All right, E flat, uh, E diminished. And you can let it ring for two beats, one, two, or as I like to do, I do some picking in between. One triplet. I, I play a triplet, A, D, and G string. But you can play whatever you want, actually. It's just a passing chord. So I played once and then a little fill. And now we go to F minor 7. Oh, sorry, I, I chose this one in the sheet music. I just saw it. So 8, 6, 8, 9. You can also play this one, but this is actually closer. So F minor 7, 8, 6, 8, 9. 
we have a little pickup to the next phrase and that's the B flat minor 9 chord. Here would be the root. 6, 6, 6, 8. Alright, and here's the entire phrase number one at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Here's phrase number two. These are uh, four bars and we start, we have that B flat minor nine chord and now we go to its five chord, the E flat 13. E flat would be here, we don't play that. We start on a D string, 11, 12, 13 and 11 by barring upper four strings. Little melody going on, 14th of the B string, 13 is already here on the B string and the 11th on the B string. Then it's an E, fl uh, e diminished uh, flat 13. E on the 12th, 11 of D, G, that's the uh, 12th of the G string, and the melody is on the 13th of the B string, which, which makes it an E diminished flat 13 chord. Now out to the 14th. flat minor 11 chord now we have a 2 5 going on again E flat is the 11 11 of D 11 of G and 9th of the uh, B string and we play the B string again A flat 7 sus 4 that's the 5 chord I play a chord um, which is not really a jazz chord, but it's very, it fits. Fourth, here's the A, uh, a flat. Sixth, fourth, and sixth, the lower four strings. We very rarely play that. But here's the melody, and um, if you play it softly, it's okay, it's okay to play the uh, fifth here. Then the B string by barring to the fourth fret of the B string. And resolution is the D flat major seven chord. Four, six, five, six in a four strings. So two chord, five chord, uh, sorry, and one chord. And this would ring for an entire bar, so what I do is I play, I do some picking in between to fill it. I just play random notes. Alright, D flat 6. Two, uh, let's start from below. 4, 3, 3, 2, in a 4 strings. Now we have uh, a five chord that leads us back to the beginning because this is the last chord of the A section and that's supposed to be a B flat altered chord and I chose the B flat seven flat nine chord again which is a D diminished um, chord. Five, six, four, six in a four strings. We had this already before. And then the B string again because that's our pickup again for for the beginning, all right? So, one, two, three, four. And on four end, you have to pick up. Okay, so here is that phrase number two at slow tempo. I played with the pickup, okay? Three, four. Here is the A2 section and the good news is the first six bars are identical, all the changes are the last two bars 
and that's uh, in the notation. This is house number two. All right, and where's the split? The split is after that A flat seven that went to the D flat major seven chord in the first house. In the second playthrough, in the second house, you go directly to the D flat six chord. That was four, two, uh, three, three, two. You fill uh, the rest of the um, bar a bit by picking. Just some random string picking. Usually you go like up and down, something like this. And now we have a 2-5 in the last bar that leads us to the B section. And the B section starts with a G flat major, so the 2-5 is A flat minor, D flat uh, dominant chord. And we want to keep this as a melody note. So what we get is an A flat minor 11. That's the fourth, here's the A flat, four of D, four and two. And now a D flat altered chord. I did not want to play this D flat seven, so I play my Sandra Sherman chord. I just changed the root in bass for a flat nine, which makes it a really interesting chord. So what we get is D in bass, that's the flat nine. It's still a D flat chord. D flat seven, flat nine actually. Uh, fifth, third, fourth, and second. All right. So from D flat, uh, sorry, from A flat minor eleven to D flat seven flat nine. If that's too hard for you, just go for the regular D flat seven. Okay. And we have th one, two, three, four. All right. So here are the last two bars. Slow tempo. Three, four. Two, three, four. Welcome to the B section. Here are the first four bars. As I told you, we start with a G flat uh, major chord, and that's this one. Since I need to go to the fourth fret later, I uh, bar this, which I usually would not do. So you cannot strum through it because then you would have uh, a wrong note in there. So because we need the second of E, third and third of D and G, and the second again here. So either this way and you go with your pinky or you bar it. But don't play the A string, no A string. Then your pinky goes to the fourth of the B and back to the second. And here's another G flat major seven chord. G flat on the sixth, uh, on the fourth, six, six, six. Regular G flat major seven chord. And the E string one more time. And the next chord is a B flat 13 chord. And we play the same chord we had on the A flat, on the E flat. Now it's a B flat. Sixth of the uh, D string. And that's actually, we start with that uh, D string alone. And then we play the whole chord. Six, seven, eight, and six by barring. So. Then the E string twice again. Ninth of the B string. And the whole chord. So, all right, now it's an E flat minor 7 chord. We had this 6, 8, 6, 7, 6, all the way through the E string. Then E string, B string on the 9th, the whole chord again. String alone. Now we have a E diminished. Five, six, five, six, upper four strings. E string alone, chord again, to the fourth fret, and back to the chord. Right. And 
and that was it and here is the entire phrase number four at slow tempo one two three four Phrase number five are the last four bars of the B section. All right, we start with a B flat minor seven chord. That's the eight, 10, nine, and ninth fret of the upper four strings. Play the E string two more times. Then B flat minor seven down here, six, 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 six. Here is the root B flat. And to the E diminished, and that's Eight, nine, eight, nine, upper four strings, right? Play it twice. Then I, uh, we have another E diminished in the next bar, but this time it's not a passing chord. This time it stands for E flat seven flat nine. So the bass plays the E flat, but we play still play the E. I play it two more times. Then I move to the left to the 8th fret and back to the 9th. E flat 13. We had this before. 11, 12, 13, 11 by barring. Now you lift your ring finger and the 11th of the uh, B string is played. Okay, so first two bars. flat 9 is next. That's A flat on the 11, 10, 11, 11 in a 4 strings. Then I play the B string one more time. D diminished, that stands for a B flat 7 flat 9 chord. 10 of E, 9 of D and 10 of G. Just those three. And then the the uh, G string one more time, okay? So from A flat. E flat minor seven, just to the B string now. Six, eight, six, seven. We had this before, but this time only up to the B string. And now I'll fill, uh, fill it again with uh, some, that's not the melody, that's just some uh, random picking for uh, you, um, Filling the time to its five chord, the A flat seven. That's the last chord. Four is the A flat, four of D and five of G. And here's the pickup to the A section again. Sixth flat of the B string. Then we glide out and have the A section again. All right, uh, phrase number five for you at slow tempo. Three, four. The A3 section is the same as the A1 or respectively the A2 section for the first five bars. Then we have a coda sign and it uh, leads us to the other coda sign and that's the ending and that's the last three bars. <coughs> so where, does the, uh, where do we split? Where do we take the, um, the split? Okay, let's revisit the A section for a second. Splits after that E flat, uh, E diminished flat 13. It goes to E flat in the first, it goes to the E flat minor uh, 11, and this time we go to a F minor 7 chord. And that's 8, 6, 8, 
nine of the inner four strings. Then the B string. Then it's five chord, the B flat seven. That's six, six of D and seven. Then the altered chord, B flat seven flat nine, which is, we know it already, a D diminished chord. Five, six, four, six, inner four strings. All right. And now we go up to that E flat minor 11. That's, we had it before, 11, 11, 11, 9. One, two, then A flat altered. Same situation we had down here with the D flat at once. Uh, here would be an A flat, we need this as the melody tone. And this is boring, so I changed the root to the flat ninth. Now I have an A flat seven flat nine with the flat nine in bass, which is a little unusual, but I think it sounds terrific. 12, uh, 10, 11, and 9. Right? 2 chord, 5 chord, and resolution, the 1 chord, is the D flat 6, 9. You can also use, play the bass if you want to. Uh, 8, 8, 9, 9. Here is the root. So you may also want to check this out as uh, a cool way to play a 2, 5. just all right the entire phrase number five three four Maybe you also like some more of my other ballads that I've arranged for chord melody guitar style and that are up on my YouTube here. And these are classic jazz standards like uh, Misty, The Shadow of Your Smile, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, My Funny Valentine, The Days of Wine and Roses and many, many more. Go check them out. Uh, please leave a like if you like the video and share the love and the knowledge. And I see you next week. Servus, Baba. Thank you.